Next up on copycat.com, a homemade Choco Taco. So we're gonna make Choco Tacos today. This is a wonderful ice cream treat that you are certain to fall in love with. Now these are a waffle cone that's filled with ice cream and then dipped in chocolate that has nuts in it. This will be a fantastic summertime treat. Now there's two ways you can make your waffles. You can take these pre-made waffle bowls and put them in the microwave, just wrap them up in a paper towel and microwave them for about 20 seconds and then you take them out and you shape them just like this. Or you can get one of these fun waffle cone makers and we're gonna go ahead and make waffle tacos with this. So let me show you how you would do this. You're gonna begin with one egg yolk and one egg white and we're going to whip this in a bowl until it's nice and well whipped. And we're gonna add in our sugar a half a cup of sugar that we're gonna add. And we're just gonna blend this in very, very well. We're gonna take two thirds cup of flour and we're gonna mix that in. Finally add our melted butter. We have a couple tablespoons of melted butter that we have let melt and cool off. Now we're gonna just stir this into the batter. Now these waffle cone makers are wonderful little tools. You can make waffle bowls with them. And of course you can make choco tacos. All right, so this is mixed up well. So we're just gonna open up our waffle maker. We're gonna put about a good tablespoon of batter down. And then we're going to use our waffle iron we're gonna cook this for about a minute, so we'll come back in a minute when this is done, and I'll show you how to shape it like a taco. Okay, so when the waffle is done, I'm gonna take a dowel, I'm gonna flip the waffle over on it to kinda of get that nice rounded shape. Then I'm going to let it harden on a cutting board. And that'll get nice and stiff in just about 30 seconds. And here you go, it is our waffle cone taco shell. Okay, so we have our waffles done. These are some that I made a little bit before. Now you need to let your ice cream get kind of melty and soft, just like this, so we can stuff these. Now you have to work really fast right now. We're gonna get these all loaded up. We're gonna put these in the freezer, preferably overnight if you can. If not, let them freeze for a couple hours before we start dipping them in chocolate. All right, so let's Simply stuff these full of ice cream as quick as we can, and then we will put them in the freezer. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make our chocolate topping. I just have some melting chocolate right here. This way we don't have to temper it. I'm just putting that in a double boiler. You could use a microwave if you like. Just heat this up for about 30 seconds, take it out and stir and continue till it's all nice and melted. So while these chocolate discs are melting, we're gonna go ahead and chop some nuts and get them ready. I just happen to be using cashews here. You can use your favorite type of nut. You can use peanut, walnut, almond, just whatever you like. So I'm gonna take about a half cup of nuts. We're gonna chop them up and we're gonna put them in here. All right, so these I went ahead and put in the freezer last night, so they're nice and stiff. So we're gonna take these and we are going to dunk them into our chocolate. All right, and we're just gonna let these dry here. <laughs> and here we go, our Choco Tacos. When these dry, we will come back and show you what they look like when they're all nice and done. Okay, 
So we've made our Choco Tacos. So if you enjoyed this recipe, please go to my blog at copycat.com. That's C-O-P-Y-K-A-T.com. So you can get all of the ingredients and list. And also on the blog, I have a recipe for how to make this taco shell chocolate. How about that? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. But before we do, be sure to like this video and also drop me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next so I can get to that. All right, now we're gonna try this taco. Mmm, it's very nice. It's very creamy on the inside. I actually put cookies and cream in on this one, so it's really good. There is a crisp waffle shell and the chocolate topping is wonderful. There are some salty peanuts in there, so be sure to give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching.